The first command that God gave to mankind is to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. So in 2023, me and my family are expanding for the kingdom of God. So the Apostle Paul said that the kingdom of God is not about talk, but about power. And in 2022, we learned a lot more about that as we learned to cast out demons. And we still have so much to learn. That's why we are going to take you with us to a conference in Nashville, Tennessee to learn about casting out demons. So I'm up at 5 o'clock to drive 5.5 hours to an event that starts at 5 p.m. And I'm also drinking out of my brother's head. Okay, it's just a mug with his head on it. But um, you should check out the Jordan Michael Tuesday show and find out what being in charge of charge is all about. There's the link. All right, it's eight o'clock, the bus is leaving. Ready? Are you a little nervous about like, you know, casting out demons and all that stuff? It's cool to cast out demons. You're new to watching the show. I'm Susie. I'm the mom, and I just found out that I am pregnant. I'm about six or seven weeks along. Um, feeling good. I'm kind of underlying, constantly underlyingly nauseated. I want pickles and lemonade. In the past two years, we've had two miscarriages, and um, so I'm concerned. I mean, when I feel concerned, I just pray for the baby and then start thinking about something else. Because what else can you do? Well, we're at the uh, Christian stop of uh, Chick-fil-A, and um, Susie uh, ordered some pregnancy ice cream. Um, I'm pregnant too. <laughs> I'm pregnant too. Men can't get pregnant, Justice. What? It's true. It's true. <laughs> So we've arrived at our hotel here in Mount Juliet and we met people in the foyer who uh, were already here um, one time earlier and got delivered. They said they went home and got their family delivered from demons and now they brought the whole family to this conference. We also met our friend down in the parking lot who practiced and successfully cast out a demon for the second time in her life. So already you can see that God has been moving in this area and this is why I'm excited about being here, that's why I'm excited about the ministry um, of Greg Locke and these other guys, Isaiah and the rest of them, because they are making disciples who are making disciples, and that's what we need to be doing. So I just got finished swimming with my kids in the pool. We're headed over to the tent. It's it's about it's getting close to three o'clock, so the event is well, it's the event is two two and a half hours away. I mean, two and a half yeah before it starts, two and a half hours away. The tent is already filling up. And I'm just so excited to be here. This is the best way to start the new year. Well, that is packed out here. I feel like this is a, a historical moment. I think there will be um, stories written about this time in history, uh, in the Christian annals of history. getting delivered and we haven't even gotten started yet. <laughs> well, as much as I'd like to film everything, I want to take it in more, so I'm gonna be present. I'm not gonna be filming during it, plus they're recording uh, for the documentary Come Out in Jesus' Name, which will be in theater, so just go check it out there. But we'll give you our, our thoughts on it afterwards, and uh, so we'll be back. Well, this is the latest I've stayed up in my it's adult not, life. It's not for me, Whoa. I've stayed up later than this. <laughs> Well, we haven't finished yet. It was okay, but um, I was falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, me too. I fell asleep for a little bit on mommy's lap, and then I woke up because it was way too loud. Those many demons to be casted out. Yeah, was it scary? <laughs> Probably some of them were. Yeah. But besides that, it's pretty cool. What do you think, Carly? Uh. Um, it wasn't scary. For, like when we watched the video of that guy casting Whoops. a demon out of the lady, 
It was actually scarier in the video than it was in person. Huh. Interesting. Why was that? I don't know. Jeez. There are a lot of people screaming everywhere. Uh -huh. Yeah. He like the guy said like every time they scream there's like this be like there's another out. one. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's usually a spirit of witchcraft that screams like that. Yeah, it was weird. We got out super late. I never stay up that late. So I have a splitting headache this morning. Uh, the uh, kids have, uh, I think they're excited to go back, but I think they're also a little worn out um, because it was very, very loud. But we saw people healed. We saw people delivered. Um, the healing thing, I think I'm a little more skeptical about. Just, I think one of the things I appreciate about deliverance ministry is that it's, it, it's pretty clear most of the time what's happening. Uh, I do believe in the healings, but I have to say that it's hard to not be a little bit more skeptical about them. But looking forward to going back this morning, maybe following, following up with some of the people we saw uh, affected last night. And, uh, and I pray my kids will be affected in a positive way as the total sum of this uh, excursion. All right, oh, my head hurts. All right, going, we're going back. What are you filming me for? Quick. Are uh, you ready for round two? Let's get bracing. Sure. Okay. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, my sneeze ruined your teenage coolness. Whatever. Ready for round two, Carly? Oh, you got it too. <laughs> Carly's manifesting a teenager. What the heck? <laughs> That's weird. That's what? You ready to go this morning? Sure, I guess so. home from Nashville and I will say that we were not disappointed uh, our only critique is that it was very loud uh, but that's not really a critique of principles or uh, conviction it's just a matter of uh, preference uh, but it was for that reason it was exhausting because it was so, so very loud but very inspiring uh, I feel like these people are my friends they're co-workers even though they don't know me although I believe Greg Locke will be on this podcast here in the future. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm going to be sharing more of my journey of casting out demons and doing the work of the Lord in the days to come on the podcast. And uh, we hope to have some more family vlogs for you in the future as we keep you up to date on what God is doing in and through us as a family. And of course, uh, the journey to uh, meeting our new child in about nine months. So congratulations, Susie. You're a champ. You're my best, my best friend, and uh, I love you. Thank you all for being part of this channel, for watching the podcast, for participating in that, and for watching uh, the vlog and journeying with us today. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications or comment below. Rate and review the podcast and all that other good stuff. All right, we'll see you guys next time. God bless. I praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a heart